There are a lot of things that make a fantasy campaign or an RPG really special, and in my mind, some of the most special things are the characters that you meet, the places that you go, and the stuff that you do, but we often forget that while the players are the ones that are making their way in the world, it's the NPCs that make that world a little bit more interesting. Hello everybody, my name is Kyle Lott, and this is Desks and Dorks, and this is a brand new video series. I told you we would start bringing out videos every Friday. Um, this is the new series, this is called The NPCs. It's all about NPCs that I have either used or implemented into my campaigns that I think are really interesting or I have never gotten the chance to use and I just really like the character concept. If you like what we do here, give us a like, a share, a comment, a subscribe. It really does help us out. In the description below, you can find the link to our Kickstarter for March of the Mushwins, a storytelling heavy, rules light RPG aimed at brand new players. It's essential that if you want to keep these videos coming out and keep the support coming that you back that because that's how we get our financial support and if you're already interested in some of the games that we have made including the fear within and after the rain you can pick up a copy of those from our friends over at world of game design but with that being said let's talk about the npcs and there to my mind is nothing a little bit more interesting than our good friends the gelatinous cubes. I've done a whole video on gelatinous cubes before. If you're a longtime fan of the channel and you've watched our low-level monster series, you know that I like gelatinous cubes quite a bit. And while I do like them, this character concept came up uh, in one of the things that I was discussing with another fellow game master. And I thought, you know, I really like the idea of a gelatinous cube that maybe the cube itself isn't sentient, but maybe one of the things in it actually is. So allow me to introduce you to Frank. This is Frank, everyone. Frank at one point in time was a powerful spellcaster, a wizard par excellence, a master of magics, and now Frank is a uh, skeleton just sitting and chilling out in the gelatinous cube. The reason I like Frank is that Frank is a powerful wizard, right? Um, Frank still has access to a good deal of his magic, but the problem is, is that Frank is... How do I put this? Not just uh, bound by, but continued to be animated by his gelatinous cube. He is kept alive by his own magic, but the magic is now infused with the cube. So if Frank were ever to leave the cube, Frank immediately gets disintegrated. And Frank is essentially not just uh, forced and trapped, but kept alive by his gelatinous prison. Um, a cube that he has named Burbo. One of the things that I like is that Frank still has access to his magic, but because of the uh, permeable membrane of the ooze, he struggles to get the magic out and into the world. This magical struggle, however, is made a little bit easier. <laughs> I forgot I put cube go vroom in the video. Uh, but the struggle is made a little bit easier when Frank is in contact with or touching something with the cube. So, for example, if an enemy is in water or is touching the permeable membrane, not only can Frank have uh, his usual abilities when it comes to magic, but Frank is able to actually get advantage um, when he casts those spells or does those things. And that means that if somebody is in, like, liquid, for example, and that liquid touches the permeable membrane of the cube, it means that Frank is going to be able to pop off and nail them with one of his spells. Now, with that being said, I just love this character concept because I really like the idea of... I really, really, really like the idea of having Frank pilot this <laughs> this cube like a floppy mech suit. Um, the idea of Frank being a maybe a little bit beleaguered prisoner of his own cube, but also being kind of chipper and sort of fun to deal with, I think is an incredible idea. And I really, really, really like this NPC. Um, and like we talked about, Frank's magic gets much, much stronger uh, the more he's in contact with things that are also in contact with the permeable membrane of this gelatinous cube. If you like this series, by the way, this is the end. If you want to put Frank into one of your campaigns, please go for it. feel free to do it. It's why I make these videos. Uh, if you really in are interested in Frank and you like what Frank stands for or uh, flops around for, then please, by all means, make it a part of your campaign. If you like this series, like, share, comment, subscribe. Give us the support uh, in the comments below by purchasing some of our games. Um, again, you can get A Fear Within or After the Rain from our friends over at World of Game Design. Or if you want just a $6 PDF of 
March of the Mushwins, you can get that as well over on Kickstarter. Uh, that price is not going to stay that low for that long. Uh, but if you really like Frank and you like what we do here, it is free for you guys to use. I you do these series because I really enjoy helping other game masters um, with the stuff that they've got. So thank you all so much yet again for watching Desks and Dorks. I am Kyle. You have been absolutely fantastic, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.